Okay, first and foremost, we praise the Most High, Ahaya, by Hashem Yishaya. Like I shall say, Amen. 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 And today we're going to go into something that's really important um, for Yasha Allah. Um, some people in Yasha Allah, especially a lot of um, so called priests and teachers, they feel like because uh, some of the patriarchs or some of the people in the scriptures may have had multiple wives or concubines and things like that, that it's okay for them to have it. And that it's holy and that it's something that the Most High uh, would justify um, on the day of um, judgment. But we're going to show through precept that that's foolishness. We're going to show that uh, that's not something that the Most High would have us to have. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go to uh, Matthew uh, chapter 22 and verse 29. Okay. And it says, Jesus answered and said unto them, ye do err not knowing the scriptures nor the power of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Read it again. It says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scripture, nor the power of the Most High. All right. So what Yeshua said unto them was that they were making a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay. They were going off. They were in error because they did not know the Mikrah, meaning the written word, the mm -hmm. scripture. They didn't know the written word, nor the power of the Most High. Mm hmm all right, read it one more time. Okay. Um, okay, and it says, Jesus answered and said unto them, mm -hmm. Ye do err, not knowing the scripture, nor the power of the Most High. Ye do err, not knowing the scripture, nor the power of the Most High. Go to uh, Ezekiel 16. This is something that People have to understand if you're not doing, if you're not living according to the scriptures, just like Yeshua said, you're making mistakes. You're in error. You're going off. And so, of course, um, these scriptures will bring you back on as, you know, as long as you take heed. Go to Ezekiel 16. Okay. Read verse one. Yeah, one. It says, again, the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations. Mm hmm. So that's the thing. We have to cause Yasha Allah to know when they're going off. Mm -hmm. We have to cause Yasha Allah to know uh, when they're operating in the spirit of Antichrist. Okay, Antichrist mm -hmm. is anti truth, Antichrist is anti scripture, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not going precept upon precept, if you're not living according to the scripture, then you're going off. You're living in what? Error. Let's go to um, Isaiah. Go to Isaiah 41. And start at verse 21. Okay. 41. <clears throat> okay. And it says, Produce your cause, say of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Bring forth your strong reasons. So the scriptures say, Bring forth your strong reasons. Mm -hmm. Right? As the children of the Most High God, as the children of um, Ahaya, our strong reasons is this scripture. Right. We go precept upon precept. This is the reason for this. This is the reason for that. Precept upon precept. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Bring forth your strong reasons, mm -hmm. saith the king of Jacob. Right. Let them bring forth and shew us what shall happen. You see that? It says, let them bring forth and shew us what shall happen. Mm -hmm. Through these scriptures, we can show you what will happen if you do this or if you don't do that. We can show you precept upon precept what will happen. Mm -hmm. Read it again. Produce your cause, saith the Most High. Mm -hmm. Bring forth your strong reason, saith the King of J Jacob. Mm -hmm. Let them bring forth. Let them bring them forth, and shew us what shall happen. Right, keep going. Let them shew the former things. Let them shew the former things. So we're gonna go into. Um, um, a lot of former things, things that happened before us, right? Mm -hmm. Because we are new Israel. We are new Yashala, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go into the things that our fathers did, that our mothers did, right? Because a lot of people feel like because their fathers and mothers did it, that it's okay, right? Mm -hmm. That it's holy just because, of course, the scriptures say that some of, some of these men and women were holy, right? They were holy, but they made mistakes sometimes. You understand? Keep going. Um, let them shew the former things what they be. Mm -hmm. 
that we may consider them. That we may consider them. Keep mm -hmm. going. And know the latter end of them. And know the latter end of them. Keep going. Or declare us things for to come. And or declare us things for to come. So again, precept upon precept. We're going to show the latter things. And we're going to show the things that are to come. Go to um, Matthew 5 and 20. Matthew 5 and 20. And it says, For I say unto you, mm -hmm. that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Notice it says, ye shall in no case. Mm -hmm. You see that? The Most High God gave us a codified law to follow. On the Yom Shaphat, which is the day of judgment, the Most High God are going to open, he, well, he's going to open three books, all right? Mm -hmm. One of those books is going to be the Torah. It's going to, that's the standard that the Most High God gave us as a people, mm -hmm. right? We have to live by that standard. We have to live by that codified law. You understand? Read it one more time. For I say unto you mm -hmm. that except your righteousness shall exceed, shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Absolutely. You shall in no case. Right? Go to Revelation 1 and 5. Okay. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, mm -hmm. and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that beloved us, that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his, with his own blood, mm -hmm. and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. Right. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So, the, two things right there. The Most High God made Yeshua the king over Yashallah, right? And also, he gave Yeshua what? Dominion. Mm -hmm. You see that? Let's go to uh, Zechariah 3 and 7. Okay. So we're going to show. Zechariah 3 and 7. So now we're just establishing whose rule we're under in, in, in Yashallah, right? Mm -hmm. We're establishing whose rule, whose thumb, right? We're under. Um, this is Zechariah 3 and 7. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. if thou wilt walk in my ways. If thou wilt walk in my ways. And if thou wilt keep my charge. And keep my charge, meaning the things that he said. Keep going. Then thou shalt also judge my house. Thou shalt judge. You mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. Now, let's take a step back. Uh, the Most High God said judge. Mm -hmm. You see that? So what you have to understand is the Most High God does everything righteously, mm -hmm. decently, and in order. The Most High God gave us a codified law to follow. Right? Mm -hmm. a, a, a codified law that's decent and in order. And if we don't follow it, then we're going against what the Most High God said. Right? Read it one more time. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, If thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, then thou shalt also judge my house. Right? Go to Revelation 2 and 4. Okay. 2 and 4. Mm -hmm. And it says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee you see that yeshua said what nevertheless nevertheless I have somewhat against thee. i have somewhat against thee what does that mean that means that um either someone's teaching either the way that they're living right mm -hmm. the way that they're thinking the way that they're speaking something that they're eating <laughs> you know what i'm saying something that they're wearing mm -hmm. it's, it's it's not perfect before the most high in Christ. Read up one more time. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. I have somewhat against thee. I have somewhat against thee. Right? Mm -hmm. The Most High God is looking for a church free of what? Spot wrinkle. and wrinkle. You see that? Mm -hmm. Read it one more time. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Mm -hmm. Go to Matthew 5. Matthew 5 and uh, verse 48. So we don't want Yeshua to have some somewhat against us. We want to be found free of spot or wrinkle. You see that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Matthew 5, 5 and 48. 48. Uh -huh. And it says, 
Be ye therefore perfect. Whoa. Be what? Perfect. Be what? Perfect. Perfect. Twamin. Muslam. Haslam. Be perfect. Read it again. Be ye therefore perfect. Mm -hmm. Even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. You see that? Be perfect as the Hava in Shemayim is perfect. You see that? Mm -hmm. Read it one more time. We praise the Most High. As Allah who Go ahead. Be ye therefore perfect, mm -hmm. even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So the scriptures say, be perfect just as your Father is perfect. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's a huge statement. We got to be perfect just as the Most High God of Israel is perfect. Mm -hmm. Go to um, Devarim 32 and verse 4. Okay. Watch this. And it says, <clears throat> he is the rock. His work is perfect. His work is what? Perfect. Perfect. Keep going. For all his ways are judgment. For all his ways. You see that? All his ways are what? Shafat. Mm -hmm. Meaning all his ways come from the what? The Torah. Mm -hmm. You see that? Read it one more time. He is the rock. He is the rock. His work is perfect. His work, his abodah, his twamin, mm -hmm. is perfect. Keep going. For all his ways are judgment. All his da'ah is shafat. All his ways are judgment. You see that? Mm -hmm. All his ways are law. You see that? Mm -hmm. Everything that the Most High God said to do, that's our law. That's our charge. We have to keep that. Read it one more time. He is the rock. Mm -hmm. His work is perfect. Right. For all his ways are judgment. Mm -hmm. A God of truth and without inequity. Mm -hmm. Just and right is he. So it said... Ahaya is a God of what? Emeh, truth. Mm -hmm. Right? Keep going. Without inequity. Without inequity. So, without a lifestyle of sin. Meaning, Ahaya would never teach us to have a lifestyle of sin. You see that? Mm -hmm. Or a lifestyle that's unperfect. You understand what I'm saying? Keep mm -hmm. going. It says, He is the rock. He is the rock. His work is perfect. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. All his ways are judgment. Keep going. A God of truth, a God and, of without truth and without inequity. Just and right is he. Just and right is he. We praise the higher. Go to um, Judges real quick. So now we're going to start. We're going to show. So basically, we just show like the Most High God is perfect. The Most High God is perfect. And just because these people don't understand the word, right? That doesn't mean that the Most High God is full of sin. The Most High God will never teach us to sin. You understand? We're going to show. That this way is foolishness. And what happens is um, the Most High God said that we should leave Babylon, that we should not partake of her sin. And so as soon as Israel learns that they are Israel, what happens? Satan comes right back in, put his hand right back in it and said, you can have multiple wives. You see that? Mm -hmm. You can have multiple wives because David did it, because Solomon did it. Right? Because Abraham did it. Right? Was it right when they did it? No. We're going to see. We're going to see. Go to Judges 19 and 1. And it says, And it came to pass in those days when there was no king in Israel. Read it again. And it came to pass in those days when there was no king in Israel. And it came to pass in those days when there was no Melech in Yasha Allah. Mm -hmm. Read it one more time. And it came to pass in those days when there was no king in Israel. Mm -hmm. Keep going. That there was a certain Levite sojourning on the side of Mount Ephraim. Right. Who took to him a concubine out of Bethlehem, Judah. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to um, Devarim 17 and 14. <clears throat> okay. And it says, When thou art come unto the land which the Most High thy God giveth thee, uh -huh. and shalt possess it, mm -hmm. and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me. So... They said what? I will set a king over me. I will set a king over me. Right? Keep going. Like as all the nations that are, ab that are about me. Like as all the nations that are about me. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Most High thy God shall choose. So the Most High God said, you shall have a king over you. Right? Mm -hmm. The Most High God said, you shall have a king over you. But you're going to have the king over you that I choose. Mm-hmm. To be over Yasha Allah. You see that? That's mm -hmm. that's the difference between Yasha Allah. That's the difference between Israel and all the other nations. Mm -hmm. Is that we have a king too. 
right? Mm -hmm. But we have the king that the Most High God chose. You see? Keep going. One from among thy brethren. One from shalt, among thy brethren. Keep going. Shalt thou set king over thee. Mm -hmm. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. Right. Which is not thy brother. Right. Mm -hmm. Go to um, 17. Okay. And it says, neither shall he multiply wives to himself. <clears throat> neither shall he do what? Multiply wives to himself. Neither shall he multiply what? Wives? Wives to wives himself. To himself. It says, neither shall he multiply wives unto himself. Mm -hmm. Right? So the kings and Yahshua Allah cannot do what? Read it again. Neither shall he multiply wives unto himself. Start at 16 real quick. Go to sixteen and, uh, 17 and 16. Okay. And it says. So we're going to establish what the king um, should not do. Okay. Uh, Deuteronomy six, uh, 17 and 16. Go ahead. It says. But he shall not multiply horses to himself. So uh, the king of Yahshua Allah cannot multiply horses to himself. Mm -hmm. Nor cause the people to return to Egypt. Nor cause the people to go back into bondage. Uh -huh, keep going. To the end that he should multiply horses. Mm -hmm, keep For going. as much as the Most High hath said unto you, ye shall henceforth return no more that way. Right. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself. Neither shall he multiply wives unto himself. Keep going. That his heart turn not away. Neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. So the Most High God said that the kings in Yasha Allah cannot multiply wives unto themselves. That their heart be not turned from the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Read that line one more time. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that his heart turn not away. So now, whenever Abraham did it, whenever David did it, right? Mm -hmm. And every other um, king in Yasha Allah, it wasn't right. You see that? Mm -hmm. It wasn't perfect. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to go to um, 1 Samuel uh, one, it says, Now there was a certain man of Ramadasaboyim of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Alachna, the son of Yoraham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zuf, and Ephrathite. All right? And he had two wives. The name of one was Hanah, the name of the other was Penah. Penana. And Penana had children, but Hanah had no children. So, uh, Alachna had two wives. Okay. Now it says, and this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto Ahiah, Shoshabaoth in Shiloh, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas, the priests of the Most High, were there. For says, and when the time was that Alachna offered, he gave to Pena, he gave to Penana his wife. And to all her sons and her daughters portions. So at this time, he's going to give to his wives portions, right? Mm -hmm. It says, um, five says, but unto Hannah, he gave a worthy portion for he loved Hannah, right? Mm -hmm. But Ahia had shut her womb. You see that? Mm -hmm. That shows us something. Go to our Shemat real quick. Go to Shemat 21. We're going to show something. We're going to show the imperfection of this uh, way of life. We're going to show. Mm -hmm. And the Most High God said he's looking for a, a, a church that's without uh, spot or wrinkle, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, um, it says that this man was righteous and he went up to um, to sacrifice and, you know, he praised the Most High, but let's see if it was perfect. Go to, um, what did I say, Shema? Mm -hmm. Go to Shema. Yeah, Shema 21. And uh, start at 10. Okay. Start at 10. If he take him another wife. You see that? The Torah says, if he take him what? Another wife. Another wife. So that's more than what? That's more than one. Mm -hmm. If he take him another wife, what? Her food, her, her raiment. Her food, meaning her sustenance. Her raiment, meaning what she wears. Keep going. And her duty of marriage. And her duty of marriage. Keep going. Shall he not diminish? Shall he not what? Diminish. Diminish. That means that the same what you give to one, you have to give the same exact 
proportion to the other. You see that? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to um, Samuel. It says, um, I'm going to start at one and four. And when the time was that Alachna offered, he gave to Peninnah, his wife, and to all her sons and her daughters portions. But unto Hannah, he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah. But Ahiah had shut her womb. So did he give her the same portion? No. No. He didn't give uh, Peninnah the same portion that he gave to Hannah. You see that? Mm -hmm. You understand? So you see the imperfection in that way of life. Let's go to um, 1 Timothy um, chapter 6. Okay. And as a matter of fact, while you're finding that, I'm going to go to um, Devraim. I want to show one more thing. You got it? You got yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, give me one second. I just want to show one thing. Okay. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 13 says, Thou shalt be perfect with the Most High thy Elohim. So if we do everything that the Most High God said to do, we build, we will be perfect. You see that? If we do everything that the Most High God instructed us in the codified law that he gave us, then we shall then be made perfect. You see that? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Okay. And it says, I give the charge in the spirit. Sorry. I give the charge in the sight of the Most High. Right. Who quickeneth all things. Right. And before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed the good confession. Right. So the Most High God said, or the scriptures say, excuse me, um, that before Pontius Pilate, Yeshua witnessed a good confession. Go ahead. That thou keep his commandment without spot, unrebukable mm -hmm. unto the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are to keep these commandments without spot, unrebukable. You see that? Mm -hmm. If we are to be made perfect, we have to keep these commandments without spot, unrebukable. Read that one more time. That thou keep his commandments mm -hmm. without spot, unrebukable, until the appearing of Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Go to Revelation 17 and 14. We're going to show something there. Okay. So we've already established that... For the kings in Yashala, they cannot have multiple wives. Correct? Mm hmm Okay. Revelation 17 and 14. Mm hmm Okay. These shall make war with the Lamb. Mm hmm And the Lamb shall overcome them. Mm hmm For he is the Lord of Lords. He's the what? Lord of Lords. He's the Lord of Lords. And King of Kings. He's the King of Kings. You see that? Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Read it one more time. He's the what? Lord of Lords. So Yeshua, the Amashiach, is the Lord of Lords. And what? And King of Kings. And he's the King of Kings. So if you call yourself an Israelite, if you call yourself a Christian, if you call yourself one that loves the Most High God in Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Then if you're a male, you should be a Lord or a King. Okay? Now, we've already established that there has to be some standard or that the Most High God gave us a standard. Right. According to to the Torah for a king. You understand? Mm -hmm. Read it one more time. It says these shall make war with the lamb mm -hmm. and the lamb shall overcome them. Right. For he is Lord of Lords, Lord of Lords and King of Kings and King of Kings. Keep going. And they that are with him and they that are with him, meaning the lords and the kings that are with him, that are with Yeshua. What are called are called and chosen and chosen. You see that? Keep keep going. And faithful. And what? Faithful. Faithful. So the ones that are with Yeshua, the ones that are truly with Yeshua are what? Called and chosen. And chosen. And faithful. And faithful. You see that? Mm -hmm. Faithful to what? To the word of the most high God. You see that? Mm -hmm. See now we're getting somewhere. Go to uh Numbers 3, uh 36 and 8. Watch this. Okay. Numbers 36 and 8. Mm -hmm. See? 
what's what's happening though is this these so-called preachers and teachers right these so-called priests to the most high they look in the scriptures and say well my forefathers did it right so if they did it i can do it too that's foolishness that's foolishness what you need to look and see is was it right when they did it you see what i'm saying right go ahead and every daughter and every daughter that possesseth an inheritance in any tribe of the children of Israel. So this is any daughter that does what? That possesseth an inheritance mm -hmm. in any tribe of the children of Israel mm -hmm. shall be wife unto one of the family of the tribe of her father. You see that? Mm -hmm. Let me give a little, a, a little understanding. Mm -hmm. Read it one more time. And every daughter. And every daughter. So this is every woman that's in Israel. Okay? Mm -hmm. Keep going. That possesseth an inheritance. That possesseth an inheritance. If that woman believes on Christ, if that woman believes on the Most High in Christ, mm -hmm. then what does she possess? An inheritance. An inheritance. You see that? Mm -hmm. She has an inheritance. She has an inheritance with the Most High God, right? Mm -hmm. She has the inheritance of Yaakov, of Jacob. You see that? Mm -hmm. Keep going. In any tribe of the children of Israel. In any tribe. In any tribe. Keep going. Shall be wife unto one of the family. Shall be wife unto how many? One. One of the family. You see that? Mm -hmm. Read that one more time. And every daughter that possesseth an inheritance... In any tribe of the children of Israel mm -hmm. shall be wife unto one of the families of the tribe of her father. That's right. That the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his fathers. Amen. So that means simply the women that's in Yasha Allah should have their own husband. It shouldn't be one husband and three wives, one husband and four wives, one husband and six wives, seven wives. It shouldn't be that way. Every woman that's in Yasha Allah. Right? Mm -hmm. Should have their own husband. Period. Point blank. You see that? Mm -hmm. Let's go to, um, we praise the higher. Let's go to um, Yeremiah 5. Go to 8. 5 and 8. Okay. Okay. And it says, They were as fed horses. They the were morning. as for, fed horses when? In the morning. In the morning. Keep going. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's what? Wife. Wife. Keep going. Shall I not visit for these things? The most high God said, the most high God says, shall he not visit for these things? Mm -hmm. This man going after this wife, this man going after his friend's wife or whatever, whatever. Read that one more time. They were as fed horses. In they the morning. were as fed horses in the morning, like beast, mm -hmm. brute beast. Only understanding those things that are what? Carnal. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife. Mm -hmm. Shall I not visit for these things, saith mm -hmm. the Lord? The Most High says, shall he not visit you? Right? Keep going. And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? The Most High God said, shall his soul not be avenged? Meaning you're going off. Right? Mm -hmm. You are in transgression Against the Most High God. The Most High God said, Shall his soul not be avenged for this foolishness, for this mockery that you're making with his scriptures? Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Because every woman should have their own husband and every man should have his own wife. Mm -hmm. One wife. You see that? And one husband. You see that? Read that one more time. It says, They were as fed horses in the morning. Mm hmm. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife. Uh huh. Keep going. Shall I not visit for these things, saith mm -hmm. the Lord? And shall not my soul be avenged as such a nation as this? Mm -hmm. Go ye up upon her walls and destroy. Go to um Matthew nineteen. Okay. Now we are gonna see something. We are gonna see. Um. Let me read. Devarim eighteen. And I'm gonna go to um. I'm going to 15. It says, um, A higher thy Elohim will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. So that was Moshiach giving a prophecy on 
uh, the Amashia, which is Jesus Christ. So we're going to see what uh, Yeshua said about uh, multiple wives. Okay. Matthew 19. Okay. Start at one and read down to nine. Okay. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these sayings, mm -hmm. he departed from Galilee and came into the coast of Judea beyond Jordan. Mm -hmm. And great multitudes followed him and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him and saying unto him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Right. And he answered and he said unto them, have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? So he said, don't you know the Torah? Have you not read? Keep going. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother mm -hmm. and shall cleave to his wife. Cleave to his what? Wife. His wives? Wife. His <laughs> wife. Okay, keep going. And they twain shall be one flesh. They twain? Mm -hmm. Or they four? They twain. They twain, meaning mm -hmm. two. Should be how many? One flesh. One flesh. You see that? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Wherefore, they are no more twain. They are but, no more two. But one flesh. But one flesh. Keep going. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. What therefore the Most High God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. So these so-called Israelite teachers that's telling all these women that they can have multiple wives, they are putting asunder, right? Mm -hmm. The first law of... Um, one of the um, ceremonial laws of marriage. You see that? Mm -hmm. You see that? The first marriage was with um, Adam and Kava, Adam and Eve, right? Mm -hmm. You understand? And so they're teaching people that it's okay to have four, five, six, seven, ten wives, right? Mm -hmm. So what are they doing? They're putting asunder what the Most High God has, has brought together. Read that one more time. It says... Wherefore, they are no more twain, mm -hmm. but one flesh. Mm -hmm. What therefore the Most High hath joined together, let not, let not man put asunder. Let not man put asunder. Let not man put asunder ceremonial law. Mm -hmm. That's ceremonial law. Ceremonial law is two becoming one. Mm -hmm. One man and one woman. Becoming one flesh, right? Mm -hmm. Not a man and a man, not a woman and a woman, not a man and many women, right? Mm -hmm. It's one one man and one woman coming together, right? Mm -hmm. And becoming what? One flesh. That is ceremonial law. That law has never changed. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. They say unto him, why did Moses then command to give her rid of divorcement? Right. And to put her away. Mm -hmm. He said unto them. Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, right. suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. Yeshua said, but from the beginning, it was not so. So Yeshua just taught you. From the beginning, multiple wives, having a wife and going to fornicate with another woman. That was not so. From the beginning. From the beginning. Right? Yeshua just taught us that we were going off. Back then, whenever we were young Israel, we were going off from the scriptures. The scriptures said what? Uh, th that we do err not knowing the scriptures, neither the power of the Most High God. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The scripture was what? Ceremonial law. The power was what? When two come together, they become what? One. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Read it again. It says... Um, he said unto them, mm -hmm. Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, right. suffered you to put away your wives. Right. But from the beginning, it was not so. Right. It was not so. And I say unto you. And I say unto you. Keep going. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Except it be for fornication. Except it be for fornication. Meaning she have sex with another man. Keep going. And shall marry another. And, sh and shall have sex with another. Committeth adultery. Committeth adultery. And who? Sorry. So, if you are married to a woman, and it doesn't matter. I want to 
make this clear. It doesn't matter if you go to your wife and say, well, honey, I want to have another wife. It doesn't matter if she says, oh, okay, right? You're still committing fornication. You're still committing fornication because you are uh, married to your wife physically, right? But you are married to the Most High in Christ spiritually. You understand? So you have to keep the laws, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High God according to what the Torah says, not according to what your wife says, not according to what your husband says, according to what the Torah says, mm -hmm. according to the book that you say you follow. You see that? Mm -hmm. Read that, uh, that part one more time. It says, and I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, mm -hmm. and shall marry another, right? committeth adultery. Committeth adultery. Mm -hmm. committed adultery you see that mm -hmm. so that's that's not even multiple wives that's just adultery you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. so if you are married to one and you have and then you say well I want two more to come in the house that's adultery if you're married to one and then you go marry another so called that's adultery you see that mm -hmm. go to um let's go to um as a matter of fact <clears throat> I'm gonna show something let's go to Genesis chapter 6 real quick and we're going to show how foolish that is. That's Israel going off and going back into sin. Genesis chapter 6 real quick. Mm -hmm. And just read down. So, um, just read down to 5. It says, And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. Right. And daughters were born unto them. Mm -hmm. That the Son of God saw the daughters of men. Hold on, read that again. That the sons of God right. saw the daughters of men. Right. That they were fair. Right. So these were the watchers in Shemayim or the Malak or the angels that were in Shemayim. Keep going. And they took them wives. They took them what? Wives. They took them wives. Keep going. Of all which they chose. Of all which they chose. I want that one. That one. Give me the one with the uh, blue hair. I want the one with the green. Keep going. Come. All of which they chose. Read that one more time. And it says that the sons of the Most High mm -hmm. saw the daughters of men, mm -hmm. that they were fair. Right. And they took them wives. They took them wives, plural. Of all which they chose. Of all which they chose. Mm -hmm. You see that? So it could have been one malak. It could have been a hundred women to one malak. It could have been 30. It could have been 10. It could have been two. It could have been three. Right. Mm -hmm. But they took them wives, all which they chose. Keep going. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. Right, keep going. For that he for that he also in flesh is flesh. Mm -hmm. Yet his days shall be in hundred and twenty years. Mm -hmm. There were giants in the earth in those days. Okay, go to um go to Matthew um twenty four and thirty seven. We almost done. Mm -hmm. We almost done. But as the days of Noah were Mm -hmm. So shall also the coming of the son of the coming of the son of man be. So the scriptures say, just as the the uh, days of Noah, so shall the coming of the son of man be. So one of the ways that we know that the Most High God is getting ready to send Yeshua is that we can look in the scriptures and say, okay, well this is what they were doing back then, and are they doing the same thing now? And they are. They're doing the same thing now. Keep going. Mm -hmm. For as in the days that were before the flood, mm -hmm. they were eating and drinking. Eating and, and drinking. Marrying and giving in marriage. Marrying and giving in marriage. That's what they were doing. They were marrying and giving in marriage. One man with two wives. One man with three, four, five, one, ten. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because they just did whatever they wanted to do. Right? They did whatever they wanted to do. Whatever their... Whatever imagination uh or whatever evil thing came into their imagination that's what they did mm -hmm. they did whatever they wanted to do go to um first peter three and six first peter three and six because a lot of people say uh well abraham did it so i can do it we're gonna show something we're gonna show first peter three and six okay and it says even as Sarah obeyed Abraham. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham. Keep going. Calling him Lord. Calling him Lord. Whose daughters 
ye are, as long as ye do well. Whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well. You see that? And are, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And are not afraid with any amazement. So the scriptures say that you are one of the daughters of Sarah, right? As long as you do well. And so somebody might say, well, Sarah gave her handmaiden to her husband, right? Mm -hmm. So I should be able to do the same thing and I'll be okay, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what the scripture says. Go to um, Better Sheep, uh, 16 and 5. Genesis 16 and 5. The scriptures say that you are one of the daughters of, of uh, Sarah as long as you do well, right? Mm -hmm. And it says, and Sarah said unto Abram. So Sarah said unto Abram. My wrong be upon thee. My what? Wrong be upon thee. My what? Wrong. My be right? No. My wrong. My wrong be upon thee. You see that? Mm -hmm. So Sarah made it clear that she went off. Mm -hmm. Whenever she told Abraham to go into her handmaiden, Hagar, she went off from the Torah. She was not doing what the Most High God told her to do. Right? Mm -hmm. The Most High God said she was going to bear a son. Right? Mm -hmm. But she said, well, you know, I'm, my womb is closed. Right? Mm -hmm. You shall bear a seed, but not with me, with my handmaid. No, no, no. That's not what the highest said. You see that? Mm -hmm. Read it one time. And Sarah said unto Abram, my wrong be upon thee. My wrong be upon thee. You see that? Mm -hmm. It was wrong. That was wrong. That wasn't right. Of course, we learn from these things. We learn um, the scriptures. Um, Corinthians says that um, these things uh, were our examples to the intent that we won't do the same things. Right? Mm -hmm. That old Israel did. We learn from them. Right? Mm -hmm. But we want to be like Yeshua. We don't want to be like Abraham. We don't want to be like David. We don't want to be like Solomon. We want to be like Yeshua. You see that? Mm -hmm. you, you understand. Read it one more time. And Sarah said unto Abram, mm -hmm. My wrong be upon thee. My wrong be upon thee. Go to um, Ecclesiasticus 4 and 10. We almost done. Okay. Ecclesiasticus 4 and 10. You might need to go, go right here. Four and ten. And ten it says, Be as a father unto the fatherless. Be as a father unto the fatherless. And instead of an husband unto their mother. It says, and what? Instead. And instead of what? Of an husband unto their mother. Instead of a husband to their mother, be a father unto the fatherless. Be and then what? So shall thou be as the son of the Most High. You see that? You see that? Read it one more time. Be as a father unto the fatherless. Right. And instead of an husband unto their mother. Right. So shall thou be as the son of the Most High. That's right. And he shall love thee more than thy mother doth. And he shall love thee more than thy mother doth. Go to um, Ecclesiasticus 47. Read 13 and go down to um, 21. We almost done. Read 13. Mm -hmm. Start and, at 13. And go down to what? Uh, 21. Okay. It says, Solomon reigned in a peaceful time. Who reigned? Solomon. Solomon, our old king Solomon. Keep going. And was honored. And was honored. You see that? Mm hmm Go ahead. For the Most High made all quite round about him. Quiet. Yeah, quiet. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Keep going. For the Most High made all quiet round about him. Right. That he might build a house in his name and prepare his sanctuary forever. Absolutely. So what the scriptures are saying is that the Most High God blessed Solomon, our old King Solomon was blessed with wisdom, riches and honor and everything was quiet around him, meaning could not nobody buck up at Solomon because he had everything. You see that? Keep going. OK. How wise was thou in thy youth? How wise was thou in thy youth? Keep going. 
and as a flood filled with understanding. You see that? He was his understanding was like a flood. It just was never ending. Keep going. Thy soul covered the whole earth, mm -hmm. and thou filledest it with dark parables. When it says his soul covered the whole earth, that means that everybody from all ends of the earth knew about Solomon. They knew about his wisdom. They knew about his riches. They knew about his favor. Right? Keep going. Mm -hmm. Thy name went far unto the islands. Thy name went far. Keep going. And for thy peace, thou wast beloved. Thou wast beloved. Keep going. The countries marveled at thee for thy songs and proverbs and parables. The countries marveled because of why? The songs and proverbs and, the parables, songs, and parables. The songs, proverbs, and parables. The things that uh, Solomon spoke. The songs, right? His dark sayings, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone marveled at it. Keep going. And interpretations. And interpretations. Right, he was a wise man. He was the wisest man. Keep going. By the name of the Lord God, mm -hmm. which is called the Lord of Israel, That's the Lord right. God of Israel, mm -hmm. thou didst gather gold as tin. That's right. Keep going. And didst multiply silver as lead as right. lead. So right. Thou didst bow thy loins unto women. So now we're saying Solomon, our old king Solomon, bowed his loins unto women. You see that? Mm -hmm. Plural. Women. You see that? Keep mm -hmm. going. And by the body thou was brought into subjection. And by the body he was brought into subjection. Meaning he was brought low. You see? Mm -hmm. In the beginning of the scripture, of the passage, it shows how much honor and glory he had by Hashem Yashaya. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. By the Most High. The Most High gave him all of these things. But it was by his body that he was brought low, brought into subjection. Go ahead, read it again. Thou didst start over by the subjection. Yeah, please. Thou didst bow thy loins mm -hmm. unto women. Thou didst he so he he bowed his loins unto women. Keep going. And by the body thou wast brought into subjection. And by his body, by his by his lust, right? By his mm -hmm. carnal lust. He was brought into subjection. Keep going. Thou didst stain thy honor mm. and pollute thy seed. Thou didst stain thy honor. You see that? Mm -hmm. Thou didst stain thy honor. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thou didst stain thy honor. You see that? Mm -hmm. The Most High God is looking for a church without what? Spot. Spot or wrinkle. What is a spot? A stain. A stain. You see that? Mm -hmm. We praise the Hayat. Read it one more time. Thou didst stain thy honor. And Thou didst stain thy honor. Keep going. And pollute thy seed. And pollute thy seed. So that thou broughtest wrath upon thy children. So that thou broughtest wrath on thy children. The things that uh, our old King Solomon did brought wrath upon his own children. Keep going. And was grieved for thy folly. And was grieved for thy folly. The Most High God said that was folly. You see that? Mm -hmm. Keep going. So the kingdom was divided, and out of Ephraim ruled a rebellious kingdom. Mm -hmm. So the king was divided. The kingdom was divided. Um, so we praise the higher. Through precept, and we could have went, went into more, but through precept, we have definitely proved that if you are a so-called Israelite, if you are a so-called um, believer of the Most High God in Christ, if you are living with multiple wives, you are living in sin and you are going off. If you are living with multiple wives, if you're looking for more wives, if you are contemplating having another wife and you have a wife, you're going off. The Most High God said one. You see? Mm -hmm. One wife. One wife. Right? Mm -hmm. Look through the scripture. Don't just go... Um, with what people say. Don't just go with pe what people so-called teach. Go through the scripture. The Most High God calls us to what? Holiness. He calls us to holiness. We are to be perfect, for he is perfect. Right? Mm -hmm. Right?